Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend. Without objection. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I supported this bill when it came out of the Energy and Commerce Committee two or three weeks ago. I want to thank Chairman Wal Walden for his excellent leadership. As he knows, I had some concerns about the bill at the time. I didn't think it addressed all the problems that we needed to address. And so at the start of this week, I was a, um, um, a no vote, a friendly no vote, but I was a no vote. Um, but our Republican leadership in the House and the President and his senior advisors continued to um, involve themselves in constructive uh, discussions with people like myself. And two days ago, they agreed to, or yesterday, agreed to put in, put back in the repeal of the essential health benefits uh, provision. And that is a big uh, uh, win for conservative values. So I am now uh, a yes vote. My friends on the left seem to think the only way to get a benefit is to have the federal government mandate it and then have the federal government pay for it. I'm here to tell you, Mr. Speaker, that markets work. If we uh, create a health care market where people can choose their insurance that fits their needs, uh, there will be plans that provide for every so-called essential health benefit, but there will also be plans that provide for specific markets of young people without children or elderly couples or whatever it is. Mr. Speaker, markets work, and you don't have to mandate uh, benefits for those markets to work. Gentleman's time has expired. Gentlemen, can I have 15 seconds? Yeah, I yield the gentleman 15 additional seconds. Gentleman's recognized. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was recognized. Um, Mr. Speaker, we always want to score a touchdown. Sometimes we take a field goal. What we don't want to do today is take a safety. Uh, vote for this bill. Let's send it to the other body and continue to work to improve it. It's a good bill. Please vote yes.